Okay, and then one more example we're going to look at is called coordinated multiple views. So in this example, there are multiple windows all connected together. So we see parallel coordinates plot here. This is a spatial view of some data. I'll describe what that is. This is the, a histogram. So for every variant of the data, there's a histogram, standard histogram. This is a scatter plot of any two variants. And this is called the velocity histogram, which is just for vectors instead of scalars. And in this example, this is looking at flow data. So this is a, a something called pylon. Does anybody know what a pylon is? That's a very specialized word. Like Say it again. I can't hear you. It is. It is. It's a pole. And it's a pole that, that a marine turbine sits on, very similar to a wind turbine. So this is the, the, the foundation to a turbine. In this case, it's a marine turbine, so it's underwater. And this is all data about the water that passes by the marine turbine pilot. That's what this example is about. And what makes this different from the previous example is that all these interfaces, all these windows, these windows are synchronized, linked, and coordinated. That means if somebody makes a rush or a selection here in parallel coordinates, the polylines that pass through that selection are highlighted, but the, the histogram bars that correspond to that selection are also highlighted at the same time. And the vectors that correspond to that selection are highlighted. And the scatter plot is updated. And the spatial view is highlighted updated all at the same time. So you can make a selection in any of the views, a subset selection, and then the only windows are updated to, to be consistent with that selection. And it's an interactive tool. So we will look at that briefly, I hope. If I can, oh yeah, I, I remember I don't have that downloaded. Here it is. Now, this is with the engineering, by the way, the College of Engineering at Swansea University. So they have a very active sustainable energy group working, doing hard, hard work there. And so they're trying to develop those marine turbines, the ones that sit underwater. And they asked us if we could help them visualize the flow data past the, the marine turbines. And one of the very simple questions they were trying to answer was, where does the flow go backwards? Right? If, you, if you have a, a, a turbine that's spinning, right, you want the water to go against the turbine instead of backwards. And so they asked us, like, is, is there any place in the, in the flow domain where the water goes backwards? And they couldn't answer that question with their standard tools. So that's why we designed this tool that helps them answer very simple questions like that. And that's what that selection was. There's a velocity, a velocity, x velocity attribute. Maybe I can make this bigger. The user selects the negative x velocity. Here, the negative x velocity is, is shown in the histogram, and then we see we see streamlines behind the pylon where the re, the flow goes backwards. Right? That's just a very very simple thing that they can't do with their with their standard software, right? and that's done in a very convenient way using coordinated multiple views. So this is combining this information visualization view with the spatial visualization view to see the behavior of the flow. 
and then zooming in, and then seeing those are the spots where the flow goes backwards, it hits the pylon, and then comes downstream again. Yeah. Any questions about that? So that whole, you know, that video is longer too, right? And it shows a lot of things that we're talking about in the five module. It's combining a lot of things together. Okay. We are finished with that part. Thank you.